Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. <laughs> Everybody say Nero FTW when he starts recording. That's funny, Advil. Uh, <laughs> I have started recording, and since Advil asked the question, uh, what program could he use to burn DVDs on Windows XP? Uh, the reason why he was saying Nero is because that's the one, they're not kidding. That's the program that every geek seems to love in terms of uh, you know, m managing video files that you want to burn to a CD or a DVD, um, and in some cases even audio editing as well. Nero's been around for ages. The Nero, by the way, gets its name um, from the, well, the history books. Uh, Nero played the fiddle as Rome burned, and the full title of Nero is Ner Nero Burning Rom. Rom, you know, you add an E to the end of it and it becomes Rome. All right, so yeah, I think it's funny. Nero happens to be one of the leading packages in terms of burning DVDs and managing the data that goes on a DVD that you can burn on the PC and then put into a DVD player and play it back on, you know, a full regular old television screen. Uh, the alternatives to Nero, uh, and if you haven't figured out by now, Nero is the title that I happen to back. Uh, Roxio has been uh, lauded by quite a few people. In fact, new users are typically pushed towards Roxio before they're pushed to Nero. Uh, Nero has gotten a little easier to use over the years, but it's still relatively geeky. It needs a user interface overhaul. It's gotten easier, but still still a little behind. Roxio has done a slightly better job with its software uh, in terms of its, its burning suite. Um, the, uh, I tried running Roxio here on Vista. I had it installed as I do Nero as well. And apparently I hadn't run the, the DVD, uh, editing suite, you know, editing menus and splicing videos together. It asked me to activate over the internet, which no problem. It's, you know, legal, uh, software and legal, not illegal. It's a legal software. I purchased it legally. <laughs> I went through it, activated, and then uh, the application crashed. Uh, so, <laughs> Roxio, okay, sure. Try it, that's the nice thing. You can download Roxio, you can download Nero. They both have demos. Uh, try each one of them. That's the advantage of having these demos that you can download. You can try them. If you like them, great, register. If you don't like them, eh, it's no big deal. Uninstall it, move on. Uh, there are plenty of, uh, of software titles available that will help you um, burn DVDs and, and, and put DVDs together. Roxio and Nero happen to be the leading names even uh, even beyond Windows. Roxio makes Toast for OS X and Toast, oh, c'est magnifique. Uh, my French is horrible, but Roxio Toast is amazing. I, I recommend it wholeheartedly for OS X. In fact, I almost wish Roxio software on Windows worked half as well as it does on OS X. Um, maybe one day they'll bring the best of, of Toast over to Windows, or maybe one day the best users of Windows will migrate to OS X. Uh, Linux, I'm sure, has uh, uh, its own set of titles that work pretty well. In fact, I think one of them has GNOME in the title, which happens to be one of my favorite uh, words of all time. Gee, go figure. GNOME Burner, uh, fair enough. K3B is for Linux. Well, I'd imagine K in the title It's probably for the KDE desktop. Uh, so anyway, uh, there are plenty of ways that you can go about doing it. Download a demo and try it for yourself. The chat room totally backs Nero as far as, uh, as far as, uh, ooh, Nero for Linux? I didn't even know that existed. If it does, cool. If not, maybe that's the next step for Nero. What software do you use to burn your DVDs or to put your DVDs together with menus and videos and all that stuff? Let us know. We're always live here on the internet at live.perillo.com.